Bless... Oh, hello. I'm reciting the Maker's blessings. Would you like to join me? Yes, I love that prayer. Would you say it with me? I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. No, no, not really. It's just... I, I don't want to bore you with this. It gives me hope that one day the Maker will hear us. That maybe I'll be forgiven and my curse will be lifted. Magic? What else? Magic causes such misery. It's dangerous and vile and wicked. The Chantry must protect the world from us. Being born with something so terrible must be a punishment. I wish I could be rid of it. Perhaps this is just something I will have to suffer through. I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Win, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision? where they can actually use their maker-given powers. How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Ah, if it isn't our new sister in the circle. Come, child. This is? Yes, this is she. Well, Irving. You're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. Grey Wardens go wherever duty sends them. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. The Darkspawn threat grows in the south. We need all the help we can get. They are twisted monsters that dwell underground where the sun's light cannot touch them. They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds and threaten to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor girl with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for her. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of magi. You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within a phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing, 
with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. Not yet. Remember the tower's walls protect us as much as they protect others from us. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Is there something else I can do for you? Once, in my youth, just after I'd... We encountered a group of Templars hunting a blood mage. He forced some of the Templars to turn on their fellows. He would have escaped had he not overlooked one Templar who snuck up behind him and cleaved his head in two. There have been mages within the Grey Wardens who have needed to resort to blood magic to deal with the Darkspawn. It is something to consider, certainly. Certainly. I am intimately familiar with these subjects, after all. Our duty is to battle Darkspawn wherever they appear. We are elves, humans, and dwarves united by this common purpose. It is not my place to comment. As I said, it is not my place. Yes. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? Shh. I just want to make sure we're not overheard. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. We should be safe here. I apologize, but Jowen must be careful, especially now. I often attend to my duties in this chapel. Perhaps that is why I seem familiar. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. So you can see why we wish to keep it a secret. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. Thank you. I knew you'd stand by me. There is something else. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily, all gone. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk, breathing and existing, but not truly living. There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. I saw the document on Gregor's table. It authorized the right on Jowin, and Irving had signed it. No, it won't! They're going to destroy me! I won't put Lily through the pain of seeing me like that. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help. 
and we will tell you what we intend. If we tell anyone, Lily will be punished. If you care about what happens to me, help us! Thank you. We will never forget this. I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The First Enchanter and Knight Commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stockroom. But a Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. That was quick! To the repository, then. Freedom awaits. The Chantry calls this entrance the Victim's Door. It is built of 277 blanks, one for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a mage entering together. The Chantry provides the password which primes the ward, and the mage touches it with mana to release it. First the password. Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fade. The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry! Do you have the rod with you? Melt the locks off! What's the matter? Why isn't it working? Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These wards carved into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. I should have guessed. Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. You mean through that door? That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? No. I'll take any chance I can get. We can't get into the chamber the way we planned, but we're not about to give up. We can see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. Yes. Let's hope they haven't warded that door as well. Let's hurry, we've wasted enough time. Oh, that's time not for good. more practice. Use this with the rod. I'm sure it'll work. Hurry, the clock's ticking. Alan's phylactery, quickly. Would you destroy yours too if it were here? You still can. I don't think they'd be able to catch you once you're out of here. You'd know how to evade them. You're clever, not like me. Let's just find my phylactery. Huh. That's my phylactery! You found it! 
I can't believe this tiny vial stands between me and freedom. So fragile. So easy just to be rid of it. To end its hold over me. And I am free. Only apprentice phylacteries are stored in the Circle Tower. This tiny room could not hold the phylacteries of every mage who has passed through the tower doors. Come on, you two. We're done here and we should leave. I do not want to stay here a moment longer. Did it! I can't believe it! Thank you. We could never have... So what you said was true, Earth. Gregor... An initiate conspiring with a blood mage. I am disappointed, Lily. She seems shocked, but fully in control of her own mind. Not a thrall of the blood mage, then. You are right, Irving. The initiate has betrayed us. The Chantry will not let this go unpunished. And this one. Newly a mage and already flouting the rules of the Circle. I am disappointed in you. You could have told me what you knew of this plan, and you didn't. You don't care for the mages. You just bow to the Chantry's every whim. Enough! As Knight Commander of the Templars here assembled, I sentence this blood mage to death. And this initiate has scorned the Chantry and her vows. Take her to Aenar. The Major's prison. No. Please, no. Not there. No! I won't let you touch her! By the Maker of Blood Magic. How could you? You said you never... I, admit, I, I dabbled. I thought it would make me a better mage. Blood Magic is evil, Jowan. It corrupts people, changes them. I'm going to give it up. All magic. I just want to be with you, Lily. Please come with me. I trusted you. I was ready to sacrifice everything for you. I don't know who you are, Blood Mage. Stay away from me. Are you all right? Where's Gregor? I knew it. Blood magic. To overcome so many, I never thought him capable of such power. None of us expected this. Are you all right, Gregor? As good as can be expected given the circumstances. If you had let me act sooner, this would not have happened. Now we have a blood mage on the loose and no way to track him down. Believe me, we will use our every resource. Where is the girl? I... I am here, sir. You helped a blood mage. Look at all he's hurt. You've been a friend, but you needn't defend me any longer. Knight Commander, I... I was wrong. I was accomplice to a... a blood mage. I will accept whatever punishment you see fit. Even... even Aenar. Get her out of my sight! And you? You know why the repository exists? Some artifacts, some magics are locked away for a reason! Did you take anything important from the repository? Huh. Some honesty, at last. But your antics have made a mockery of this circle! What are we to do with you? You helped a blood mage escape! All our prevention measures for naught! Because of you! Knight Commander, if I may, I'm not only looking for mages to join the King's army, I'm also recruiting for the Grey Wardens. Irving spoke highly of this mage, and I would like her to join the Warden ranks. Duncan, this mage has assisted the Malefica. 
and show no lack of regard for the Circle's rules. She is a danger to all of us. It is a rare person who risks all for a friend in need. I stand by my decision. I will recruit this mage. No! I refuse to let this go unpunished! Rhaegar, mages are needed. This mage is needed. Worse things plague this world than blood mages. You know that. I take this young mage under my wing and bear all responsibility for her actions. A blood mage escapes and his accomplice is not only unpunished, but is rewarded by becoming a Grey Warden. Are our rules nothing? Have we lost all authority over our mages? This does not bode well, Irving. Enough. We have no more say in this matter. We must make our way to Ostagar, where the King's army is camped. You will be initiated there. I will explain more when the time comes. You will carve out your own place in this world. Come. Your new life awaits. It's to the north. Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together, after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I understand you hail from a circle of Magi. I trust you have some spells to help us in the coming battle. Excellent. We have too few mages here. Another is always welcome. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Mm, true. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feeling. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. 
Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge should you need to.